What is up guys, my name is Driftastic5 and today we're going to be doing a video on the possible DLC which could be coming out in March. Now, um, there's going to be a, bit, a couple of bits of different bits of information coming out in this video and I'm going to be telling you about them and I'm going to be explaining them and I'm going to be going over them and you know what, it's just bloody tiring isn't it? But we're going to start off with a simple one. Tomorrow, a Tuesday for me, um, it should be probably about 11 o'clock that it comes out, um, the Karen 190Z on Grand Theft Auto Online will be coming out and that will be, um, I'll probably do a customization on it if it doesn't look good when I see it and I'll have a look at a couple of customiz customizations of it. If it doesn't look good, I'm not going to do it. If it does look good, I'll do it. But um, I'm probably going to be out tomorrow and yeah, that's that's the first bit of information. But on the top of the um, information board zero today is the fact that there could be a possible DLC coming out that a lot of a lot of people have wanted for a long time, and there's another one that has been made by what's his name? I can't remember his name, but he made a Yakuza concept update, and that was basically basically the Yakuza is a lot of people, and it's said to be the um, was it the Chinese or the Japanese mafia? I can't remember which one. But yeah, that's a that's a that's just a concept made. It was good. I didn't like it too much because the when the guy said, "Oh, there would only be motorcycles coming out and nobody wants cars," I was just like, "Mate, cars are the best thing about GTA. It's Grand Theft Auto, Auto, all cars and vehicles and utility." Anyway, so the possible concept out that could be coming out in a possible future between March, April blah 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 um, is the tuners um, update the choosing tuners and outlaws have been thriving in the Grand Theft Auto 5 community and that is because Grand GTA wise guy made an amazing concept video on it and if you want to go have a look at the um, if you want to go have a look at the trailer for that, um, Tuners and Outlaws, go have a look at it in the description. I'll put a link to it and I'll put it up in the cards now. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, go check that out. That's a, that one. And um, they're saying that the possible. I, I got some information the other day. Right, so this, 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 lay, 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 listen to me. So, the information that I got the other day um, was a couple of string letters and numbers. And it was something like uh, F one five three three E Z, and it um, and it came up and it was translated into fries, fries SD. Now fries SD is a chip company, like like they do the chip cars, and when you chip a chip a car, it either goes more horsepower or more gallon um, miles per gallon. And hopefully it's going to be more horsepower. So a good possibility is that we will be getting tuned cars where we can turn it from a sports car or a normal car. Like, let me have a look. There's a couple of vehicles that they said there could be. Let's have a look. They're hoping that they were going to do um, supercars into super endurance cars. So it would be cars like the Pariah making it a wide body. The, uh, let's have a look. Ooh, what else? The Tempesta making it wide body. The where's the other one? That is a nice one. One sec. Um, some sports cars, the Osiris, stuff like that, and making it like a tuner's out and putting some uh, new rims in, like tuner with uh, tuner rims, but like like wider ones going straight to the edge, stuff like that, and it could be coming out. Um, the uh, weapons, weapons, many weapons will probably uh, be more like things that you find out in things. So it could be fi it could be bringing about a couple of more of those. Hopefully, they're going to be bringing more weapons out that are not MK MK2 weapons because basically we're just paying tons of money to upgrade the weapons that we've already got. Me personally, I don't mind it, but a lot of people do not like having the MK2 weapons when they could just bring more into the game. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the next thing in the business is a competition. 
So, um, I don't know who actually knows me in real life, but my name is Mason J. Gibbons, and I'm the head of Concrete Street Scooters, and we're, ba well, scooters is in, like, stunt scooters, so... <coughs> We do uh, like tricks and stuff, but we're street gangs, so we do more like technical tricks on rails and stuff like that, and um, and uh, ledges and stair sets. So we're gonna be hosting a, um, a competition. Whoever watches this, whoever knows me, whoever goes to the same skate parks as me, or whoever rides scooters, will be hosting a competition. The prizes will be um, two grip tapes. The f the winner of the competition who can do the best trick like uh, the, the t tons of people doing it whoever can do the best trick gets um, a good grip tape like a really good grip tape and then the second place winner gets not so good grip tape probably only worth a couple of quid so it's like that and hopefully um, people are going to come out to that and hopefully whoever's watching this can find their way to get that um, it will be hosted let me think probably on Sunday at Red Car Skate Park called Arcade from t session session 2 till 4 and if you spot me if you have a look at my Facebook M-A-Y-C-E-N and then space J-A-K-E space G-I-B-B-O-N-S have a look at my Facebook add me as a friend I'll probably accept you and just send me a message saying oh I'm subscribed to you and um, send me that message and I'll just tell you what to look out for and have a look at some of my recent pics you should see a picture of my street build which is like probably won't know what I'm on about here but an urban art bars, Javi Trippé bars, uh, liquid silver sacrifice aka Akashi 120 deck and blue wheels you just you'll just see me so I'll be hosting that it'll probably start at about three o'clock and we'll be hosting that it'll be on a flat bank so we're going really fast up to flat bank and see what people can do out of that um, a couple of lines, or we might, we might be doing lines, so 30 second lines around the ball, the um, flat bank and the street section, hopefully, and oh, I could just be best trick. So yeah, th that's a possibility, it'll be no paying fee just to pay in to actually get into the skate park, which should be about £5, and by the way, you will need parents' signature if you are under 16. Well, wherefore I am not under 16 so I do not have to have parent signature so that's the competition out of the way I'll go on and have a look at this quickly and if you want to go follow my street brand um, concrete Sh scooters on Facebook it's basically just concrete street scooters all in one word put that in and join the group send me a picture of your scooter like over um, direct messages on Facebook and just say I'm a street rider and please text me your best trick now that's the that's basically what you do now the last order of business is another concept that people want to come out and it's called the rusted nomad now I know that Mr. Boss for the win did a video on this and it's a possibility not, not a joke it is a possibility where there will be a garage like Benny's out in the middle of San Andreas or like at the top of Palito Bay where you can actually customize a normal car and turn it into an off-road vehicle so a higher suspension larger wheels giant roll cages bow bars stuff like that you can add them on um, that could be possible and um, a couple of features were being able to hang outside of your car while your friend is driving so you can shoot um, stuff like that and the, there was another piece of information saying you could um, manually control your gearbox of your car so if you like go into first person like this and you press a certain point it will go and change gear like you, oh that was horrible but you press R1 and it will change gear and it will show you it changing gear but stuff like that it's a possibility it could be coming out so that's the end of the video today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, and turn post notifications on for this YouTube channel. This is Driftastic5. I'm back after two weeks. 
and thanks for watching and peace out have an, an amazing day peace